Ed Sheeran. Eddie Sheeran. G'day. How are you, mate? I'm good. How are you? I'm fantastic. I've heard you're just over the pond in New Zealand, bro. I am. I am. I'm sorry that I'm not in uh, not in Australia right now. Yeah, what are you doing over in New Zealand? You're filming like the Hobbit sequel or something. What are you up to? Have you got hairy feet that we don't know about? Um, well, they've already filmed the Hobbit sequel, so um, mm. no, I'm not. I'm not not filming. But um, no, I, I'm. I don't know if I can say anything about it. I signed a non-confidentiality agreement, so if I say anything, I'll probably get sued or something, and uh, yeah, that would just be awkward for for everyone. You'll find out uh, in about two weeks. You're not coming across the pond after this secret squirrels business and saying hello to us at the bump? Uh, sadly not, man. I have to. Uh, this New Zealand trip was put in very, very last minute, so I have to get off somewhere else that I was meant to be today but I'm not there today because I'm in New Zealand but no sadly not but I will be back early next year to Oz. Ed I um, I was watching a bit of E! News uh, a couple of nights ago on the telly and saw that you are working with Christina Aguilera you're mentoring her contestants on the latest season of The Voice in America is it hard not to look at Christina Aguilera's <laughs> boobs? V- very yes because sometimes she doesn't wear bras and, and, and she wears very tight white shirts and it is very tough not to look at them I'm a young boy my eyes wander they're phenomenal, and in that particular episode, she had a low-cut top, and I'm going, damn, Ed, how are you doing this, my dude? you got ninja techniques. Yeah, well, well, when the cameras go off, um, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are you a boobs or bum man, Ed Sheeran? Um, I mean, I guess I guess every man's kind of both. Um, I quite like the midriff area, like, like some oh. of That's my, uh, that, yeah, I dig that. Ed, we're getting a lot of Twitter questions through as well. Uh, Shout-outs to OMG Jamelia. She wants to know, are you single at the moment? I am, yes. She wanted to let you know that after the Ellie thing, she's happy to be a rebound. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll bear that in mind. Does it suck when your relationships blow up like that in the media and you can't have a bit of privacy? Um... I mean, it didn't. It didn't suck that much because the relationship was kind of already over by by the time everyone found out. So, yeah. Um, yeah. It, it, it wasn't that. It wasn't that bad. I watched that and I'm like, God, can't he just hold a freaking hand and not make a headline out of it? Um, well, I guess like I've never really been um, linked officially to, to to anyone yet. So yeah. I guess I guess that that could be a headline. So um, yeah, I'm usually I'm usually more careful. Um, I have to be honest though, I, I drunk quite a lot that night and um, just forgot that I was being filmed. But yeah. <laughs> it happens to the best of us. Ed Sheeran is co-hosting The Bump exclusively tonight. If you want to get on the air with us and just hang out next, start call 131060. We're doing a fan call. Is that cool, Ed? 100%, yeah. Hey, this is Ed Sheeran exclusively hosting The Bump with Angus tonight. He's on hold and ready to chat to his fans. Hey, it's, hey, it's Ed Sheeran. Exclusively hosting The Bump with Angus tonight. Ed Sheeran is co-hosting The Bump across Australia tonight, and you're just across the pond in New Zealand. Like, what are you doing? Are you in a hotel? What are you wearing? What do you smell like? Uh, I am in a hotel. I've actually been getting changed whilst on the phone, and I've got uh, <laughs> both hands in a in a jumper at the moment, but because the phone's to my ear, I can't put the jumper over my head. Without, All right. Are you without, ready? Like, he- here is the jumper break. Here. Put the phone down for two seconds and put the jumper on. Okay. Go. Three, two, one, go. Sorted. Beautiful. How about that? Now you're all changed. Ed Sheeran is co-hosting. Congratulations as well, my dude. You've created a pair of Converse for the In Their Shoes charity. Do you want to tell us a little bit about this? Um, it all goes to the National Breast Cancer Trust and um, the auctions on the 24th of October. I drew on some Converse. Hopefully people like them. If they don't, then um, um, tell somebody might like them. And yeah, <laughs> it'd be, yeah, it's just raising money for a good cause. Mate, it's a great cause. Um, we've got all the details at bumpshow.com.au. If people can make a bid, that would be fantastic and raise money for an amazing charity. All right, Ed, going to connect you up with one of your biggest Australian fans. Space Cadet, does uh, this fan know that she's about to speak to Ed Sheeran? Nope, she knows absolutely nothing. How do you know that she's a big fan then? Because uh, she's got a massive Twitter account for you. It's basically just dedicated to your gingerness glory. All right, cool. Thank All right, you. here we go. Here we go. Fan phone calling. Hello, Amy. Hello. Now you have no idea why you're on the phone with me, do you? Um, to ask a question on for Ed Sheeran. On yes. Well, what if I had Ed Sheeran on the phone with you right now? <laughs> Seriously? Hello. Hello. Oh, hi. Hi. Hello. Oh, oh my God. Hi. Hey, you're a real person. How are you? <laughs> I, I, I'm good. I'm sh- I'm shaking, but 
I'm, I love all of your music and all of your songs and yeah. <laughs> Amy, you got a question for Ed? Yes. Um, if you come back to Perth again, because I guess you might at some point, would you consider tattooing me? Because I love your tattoos and I've seen you like tattoo a couple of people. I mean, I guess so. I think I, I think I need a license though. I got, no. I got told off that um about it because you're meant to have a license. But if if you don't need a license in Perth, I will 100 percent tattoo you. Awesome. At yeah. Ed Oranges oh. is your Twitter account. Yes. Awesome. Thanks, Amy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you, Ed. Bye. Love you too, Amy. Thank you. Up next, Ed Sheeran is going to be doing some Twitter shout-outs. Make sure you follow us at Bump Show and tell us if you're an Ed fan. And also, Ed, you're in our battle round. You're up against Cruella tonight. Will you hang around if you win it? Of course, yeah. Hey, this is Ed Sheeran exclusively hosting the Bump with Angus tonight. Now check this out. Bumping in next. Fresh hits and first play. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Bump. Battle Round. Here we go. Search for Bump Show on Facebook. There you'll see our Battle Round tonight. It's Nikki Romero and Cruella teaming up for a song called Legacy, going up against our very own Ed Sheeran, who's on the phone right now. Uh, the song also features Lupe Fiasco. The song is brewing. It's called Old School Love. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. How did that collaboration come about? Because I didn't see that one coming. Uh, we actually did that like three years ago, man. Um, <laughs> uh, but I, I basically got, I got given a whole load of beats to like write to and I wrote that and then Lupe heard it and he wanted to record it so we did that and it's kind of just been on hold for, for a long time um, yeah because he uh, he basically wants to put out that uh, that last hip hop record without without any any kind of big features on it so um, yeah. we have to kind of wait a little bit but it's, it's cool well Ed um, working out. we've put the song into our battle round which is on our Facebook group we put two artists up against each other and you are going tonight for night number three in a row with that song Old School Love you beat Eminem uh, what the rap the rap club tune no survival Oh right! Oh, cool. oh well, I'm uh, I'm glad, um, but yeah, he's uh, he's very good at, at the moment. It's getting. Uh, did you hear the Did you hear the rap god song? I've heard all six minutes of rap god as well. Call me rap. But for me to rap like a computer must be in my jeans I got a laptop in my back pocket My pinnacle go off when I hack cock it Got a fat knock from that rap profit Made a living and a killing off it Ever since Bill Clinton was still in office I've also heard that you're a bit intimidated by Eminem And you say you're not quite ready to work with him If the opportunity came up Has that changed since that quote? Uh, no, no I, <laughs> I, I, I want to be um, a lot further ahead Um by the time that I do stuff with him because I want to do do it properly. I don't just want to like hop on a feature. I want to make a project or like, you know, actually actually do it properly rather than have it have it as a as just a small feature or something. Well, we won't tell Eminem that you beat him in our battle rounds on the Bump Show Facebook group right now, but you do have a new competitor tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the champion. Go! This featuring Lupe Fiasco is Ed Sheeran. Old school song. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the challenger. Go! Cruella and Nikki Romero. You decide Australia on the Facebook group. Head there now. And now, please, please welcome the champion. Uh, Ed will head out to Space Cadet, the producer at the front desk, to find out if you've beaten Cruella and Nikki Romero. Space Cadet. Hi, hi Ed. Congrats, because he's won. On the air right now, here it is. Lupe Fiasco featuring Ed Sheeran, the winner of our battle round. This is Old School Love. Congratulations, Ed, and big news for Ed Sheeran fans. He's going to be on the air with us every night next week. Our Little Mix announced in two hits time. The bump. Give me that old school love right now.